saw it. Well, it's good morning for me. Um, it is Thursday, May the 12th, and I am here at the college at the main campus. That's about an hour from me, and I just got here. I think I shared some clips here at the beginning for you of the drive here. Obviously, I edited that way down, um, and just so you know, it was hands-free. It just did its own recording on the way here. But anyways, I think I shared some of the drive with you. It's actually a really beautiful drive to get here, but it is pretty far out. And um, I am sitting here about to go check in, and I think we're going to do pictures and badge pictures and I don't know what else. I'm going to find a restroom um, because it was a pretty long drive and I'm drinking my coffee. I'm actually trying the, what's it called? Um, chocolate cream cold brew. Mm-hmm. That's very good. So, now there's somebody next to me that just pulled up to park who probably wonders why I'm talking to my phone. But whatever. So, I'm here and it's about 8.37. We're not getting started until 9, but they said we could get here as, you know, early as 8.30. I had planned to actually be here a little before that, but I didn't. Uh, I just left a few minutes later than I thought. I'm still 25-ish minutes early, so we're fine. Um, I'm about to head inside, like I said, find a restroom, and, um, I think I'm also going to take some ibuprofen because my headache is mounting. I'm not sure why, but it is. And then, um, yeah, and it's so funny to me. So, I'm, like, dressed in kind of, like, business casual. I got a new outfit from Torrid, and so you can't really see, but it's, like, this flowery top and then just some black dress pants, and I've got some heels on, but... You know, it kind of runs the game, and it looks like there's folks here in just t-shirts and capri pants and, like, workout pants, leggings, and then people that are dressed up as well, so I don't know. Um, I just wanted to look put together since it is kind of a formal meeting. Um, so it looks like we're going to be here till at least noon, um, maybe a little after that. I'm not sure. I've got a friend of mine that I made friends with at our CPR class we had to go to. And she is on her way here, too. I think she's running a few minutes later than she had intended to. So, I'm probably going to head on inside, get situated, and then I will find her. And I probably won't film anything on the way in. But, um, once I get out, I will update y'all on all the information I find out. Um, and then, you know, just chit-chat with you about how it went. First impressions, overwhelmed, <laughs> all the good stuff. So, I am going to run inside and get situated, and uh, I'll talk to y'all in just a little bit. earlier and realized that I never filmed anything that day again and never came back to tell you how orientation went or any of that so um let me do that now so um whew, it was a long day I think we ended up getting done I think it was right around 12 o'clock and then um we had gone so when we got there um 
they were doing pictures and I thought, okay, so this is supposed to be for our badges, but it wasn't. So I had put all this effort into being prepared to take my ID badge picture and get my nursing ID badge. And apparently, so our library is where they print those and they didn't do them. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what the thing was. Something about that our director of nursing did not realize or it was not communicated to her that the entire library would be closed the day of our orientation. So we didn't actually get to do our, um, our, our badge pictures. But they did ta have us take pictures holding like a whiteboard with her name on it, uh, which was kind of comical. Um, but, and she was, she said that was just to compile pictures with like faces with names so that our instructors would you know be able to put a face to the name basically and know who we are and uh so they did that and um I'm assuming they're just going to email them to them I don't know what they're doing with them but that was her explanation there and that was kind of what they were taking pictures for but not for our ID badges so um which she didn't know until like the morning of. So, um, we have to go to the library on our own between now and August and get our nursing ID badges, uh, photo taken and the badge printed. So honestly, I am not probably going to do that now at all. Um, I'll probably wait until August right before the semester starts to get that done unless I get instruction from them that we need to do it sooner because they print the ID badges. If they do it the same way they do our regular school badges, they print the ID badge right there. Like they take your picture and it takes like two or three minutes and they print them right there and give it to you same day, like right there. So the whole process, as long as they're not busy, takes like five minutes. Um, so it's not like something that we have to take a picture for and then they send it off and then it has to get, you know, none of that. It's just uh, show up, take the picture right there in the library and then they print it out and give it to you. So um, I, I will do that probably in August when I go to campus to get my books um, because the library doesn't eat or the bookstore doesn't even have all of our books yet either. And so, and I'm waiting on um, some financial aid stuff and to hear back on whether or not I got some scholarships. So, I'm not going to be purchasing anything else. Um, but anyways, so that was the first thing we did. Then we sat down and um, it was very, very, very crowded. I think all in all there were 70, I think she said 78 of us all together. And... Um, I think it was 78 so it was a very crowded room what they did is there's this like classroom space that is large enough to hold our entire cohort um, but it's still very tight like you still had we still had people sitting like they had tables sitting on the sides of the like pushed up against the sides of the walls uh, or the walls on the sides of the room and had uh, you know had things that like had extra chairs sitting there so we were all kind of crammed in there so a friend of mine that was actually meeting me there because she is in the cohort with me um, at my campus I met her at our CBR class and I can't remember if I talked about this at the beginning of the video so if I did there's that uh, but, and I apologize but she she was running a little bit, I mean, no one was late, but she was running a little bit more behind than she had intended to. Uh, she had intended to meet me there early as well. Anyways, so I went on ahead and inside and got our seat. And then a girl that she knew was also there, that was also in our class, was there. So she came and sat with us too. And then we all went and took our pictures. 
And then um, once everyone had taken those pictures with our whiteboards with our name on it, um, then she got started with actual orientation. And so she kind of went around and had us all either introduce ourselves or introduce your neighbor. So uh, that was kind of funny, but uh, you know, and I, I'm an extrovert, but I, I think I'm like truly an extroverted introvert because the moment you're like, tell me about yourself in the middle of a classroom, I hate that. I hate those first day of programs or classes, activities. It's just not my thing. And y'all disregard my hair. Um, it has been a day I've been working on cleaning the house and my hair is an absolute mess. So there's that. Um, and it's like 86 degrees outside already with a ton of humidity. So my hair is insane. Um, so, you know, there's that. But, um, you know, I don't know. Okay, Hold on so, anyways, um, so we did that. We kind of introduced ourselves, you know, yada yada, basic first day of anything. And then she gave us, she had emailed us a calendar and it was very confusing. It was her calendar, so it had everybody's stuff on it. But basically, once we got settled in, right before she started talking, she also handed us back our packets. So if you had turned in your stuff, um, she handed you back all of your, uh, where they had scanned in all of our documents, she handed all that back to us along with a, a page attached to the front of our packet that said um, our clinical date and location assignment and then uh, like our day of the week. So it'll be the same day every week when we start clinicals. And then um, she said, then it also had on there which lab group we were in because that was part of the confusing part of the calendar is our lab groups are, we have some labs that are at the county campus that's like an hour or so from my house. And those are the days that everyone has to be there. So like all 78 of us from all three campuses will be there. And then there's um, days, then there's labs that are by broken down into small groups that are at my home campus. So she explained all of that to us, went over the calendar, then she kind of went over some expectations of the program things. Um, a lot of it was stuff though that we already knew. Um, so the main point of orientation for me was just to get to, again, you know, put a face to the name of some people. Um, our instructors actually weren't there. So it was just the director of nursing. There was one second year nursing instructor that was there and I did not catch her name uh, or I can't remember it um, but you know she she what we won't have her these first two semesters anyways but she was very kind and after the orientation like process so after she went through the calendar and went through all of that she basically our director of nursing then just went through and kind of answered anybody's questions for a while and that was probably 30 or 45 minutes and then um, we just kind of broke off into groups and they did some tours of that campus if you'd never been to that main campus before um, and kind of showed us like where our sim labs are, um, where the regular labs are, where the computer lab is, where the um, gym is, where the cafeteria is and those sort of things that we would need, any classrooms. So we just kind of went through all of that and then that was it. So then my friend uh, that I had already made at my CPR class, plus the friend she already knew, the three of us on our way back home, because we all kind of live back this direction. So we grabbed some lunch and then I came home. And uh, well, while we were lunch, you know, that was a great time to kind of chit chat and get to know each other more um, and kind of talk about plans and that sort of thing. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to put in the calendar. Um, you know, just a lot of information overload. Um, and that's honestly probably mild compared to what it's going to be the first week or two of school when we're getting our syllabus. And, you know, it's just, 
information overload at that point too. So I think it's going to be, I know, I know it's going to be even worse then when we get more exam dates and, you know, when things are kind of due and what to expect and that sort of thing. So right now, all I know are the days that I will have clinical, um, the days that I'll have to go before clinical and get my clinical assignment. And then the days that I'll have lecture and the days that I'll have lab. And for the most part, I know the lab location. Um, so that's pretty much what we got out of orientation. But like when we get our actual class syllabus, then I'll know, you know, what we're doing day to day, when the exam days are, all of that sort of thing. Um, and then the material. So, you know, there's that. Um, but that's basically orientation. And then, you know, I came home and we had dinner. We had Mississippi pot roast, potatoes and carrots in the crock pot. And then, uh, which my mom was so kind to put the veggies in there for me. Um, and my kids helped her with that. And then, um, our friend that also grooms our dog came over. So we had, uh, once she groomed the dog, my mom was still there. So we had dinner with my mom and also with um, our friend there to groom the dog. Um, we always ask her to stay for dinner. And so, yeah, that was kind of the breakdown of that day. It was a very, 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 very long day. Um, you know, just, you know, cause I came home and it was in the afternoon. And so then I put the finishing touches on dinner and then, you know, hung out with my mom and kind of debriefed over everything that we talked about at orientation plus I drove like three hours round trip that day so it was a very long day but it was a very good day M you know made a new friend in addition to the one I'm already getting to know so it was good so that's about everything that I have for y'all about orientation um, I hope you enjoyed some glimpses of the drive there and back and until next time leave me a comment down below and um I just would love to hear from you. If you have been through nursing school, I would love to hear uh, your positive stories and thoughts there. And then, um, you know, if any questions you have for me, I'd love it if you leave those in the comments down below. And so until our next video, I will see you in the comments down below. Bye y'all.